Moving on to Rob Weisskopf, who asks, where does goalie prospect Uko Pekaluokinen rank in terms of goalie prospects? Also, what is a realistic timetable for him and his overall potential? Uko Pekka, obviously the Buffalo Sabres prospect, had some injury troubles. He's back now, working his way up. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he was goalie of the week in the ECHL with the Cincinnati Cyclones. Steve's giving me the thumbs up on that, so clearly I'm correct. I would put Uko Pekka in a top tier of goalie prospects right now. If we're talking about drafted NHL prospects, he's right near the top. Uh, I would put him in the same cohort as Spencer Knight, the Florida Panthers first rounder, and Igor Shosturkin, the New York Rangers pick, uh, playing in the AHL. And Ilya Sorokin, still over in Russia, he's the Islanders pick. He would be in that company as well. Um, in terms of timeline, particularly because he lost time due to injury, I don't really think you can rush Lou Oaken at, at this point. I think that it was great to have him start off in Cincinnati, and then I think you're going to see him obviously being an important contributor to AHL Rochester. And what you want to see in a goalie is for them to steadily progress. And it's interesting. I did an interview not long ago with Steve Shields, the former NHL goaltender. He's now working in player development with the University of Michigan. But he was telling me about his old goalie coaches. And uh, when it came to Mitch Korn, the very famous goalie coach, it was right at the beginning of Steve Shields' career, and Mitch Korn set out a plan for him, and it was very helpful. And, you know, Shields had to start in the ECHL. And obviously, you know, that's kind of a bummer when you're coming out of your, your junior years, and you obviously want to be as at high a level as possible. But Mitch Korn told him, dominate the ECHL, then become a regular AHLer, then become a starter in the AHL and go on a big playoff run, then be the best goalie outside of the NHL in your organization. Then you get to the NHL. So when I look at Uko Pekka Luokanen, I see a player who can definitely tick off those boxes in pretty short order. He's been in the ECHL, although he probably wouldn't have been there without the injury. Go to the AHL. I don't think it's going to take too long for him to be one of the best netminders outside of the NHL. Um and then, of course, he'll be ready to play for the Sabres. So what I'm re realistically seeing is that for the rest of this season, he's AHL tops. Next year, he probably starts in the AHL, logs a lot of minutes. Maybe you bring him up for a taste with the Sabres. I mean, you have Carter Hutton. You know, you're not desperate for goaltending right at the top. And you don't want to rush a player with such potential because Luokan has got the size. He's got the talent. He's got the demeanor. It's just really a matter of honing his craft. So I think, you know, could he be the Sabres starter in three years? Sure. But you got to make sure he ticks off all those boxes first. So thanks for that question, Rob.